Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Leafs Player Profiles Points Projection. Today we're going to discuss William Nylander. So some quick info on Nylander. He is 84 years old. Uh, born in Calgary, Alberta, but grew up playing in Sweden. Um, and uh, yeah, so there was a big hoopla over Nylander, obviously, signing his $6.9 plus million dollar uh, contract. They thought he was overpaid. And then last year happened and he looks to be uh, a good price, a very good price for under $7 million. Um, over 30 goals. I think he had the, the highest goal percentage um, within the paint. If you want to say within the paint, like within the goal crease, basically, just in front of the, the high end chances there, he was able to finish um, and he worked really well with JT this year. He was drafted in 2014, number eight overall by the Leafs, and he has um, one world championship gold medal with Sweden, where he absolutely dominated play. Now, the big thing for Nylander is he had that rough year when he did like the holdout for the contract. It's hard for him to get going, but man, last year, did he play well or did he play well? All right, let's recap uh, Nylander's stats, shall we? So I uh, played in um, juniors, 18 elite, in Sweden back in 11-12, 2011-2012, where he ended up 26 points in 18 games. Uh, he jumped with the under-16s, under uh, the 18s, the 20s, um, and he did really, really well um, under 16 and the 18-year-olds, uh, well over a point per game. And then he ended up playing with the uh, the under 20s, four points in eight games, and he had five points in four playoff games. Then played in the under 16s for uh, Sweden internationally, 11 points in seven games. 2012, 2013, he was uh, mixed between the 18s, the 20s, and the actual um, professional league, um, and he dominated three points in the 18s and 43 points in 27 games in the 20s and then six points in eight games um, for Sweden. Um, and what else did he do there? He played the under 18s where he did well, under 17s. Then he went to Moto. Um, he did well. He played in the SHL for Moto, seven points in 22 games. Not too bad for a kid who is uh, 17 years of age. Uh, played in the under 18s where he ended up 16 points in seven games. Um, then 2014, 2015, uh, he was out on loan. He was with Moto, 20 points in 21 games, eight goals, 12 assists, almost a point per game. Unbelievable. At the end of that season, he goes to the Toronto Marlies where he posts almost a point per game in the AHL, 32 points in 37 games. Goes plays the under 20s for Sweden for the World Junior Championship, 10 points in seven games. 2015, 2016 was his first uh, full season in North America where he plays 22 games for the Leafs. Now remember, he didn't get called up to like the end of the season. Ended up posting six goals and, a set and seven assists, 13 points in those 22 games. But in the AHL, before he got called up, 45 points in 38 games. Played the under 20s as well, but he only had uh, one goal in one game. Um, he was an assistant and that was uh, due to injury. 2016, 2017 was his first full season with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He played in 81 of the 82 games, 22 goals, 39 assists for 61 points. He then played the world championship for Sweden where he had 14 points in 10 games. Um, these are the same Maple Leafs that 2016-17 uh, where they played Washington in the first round. Austin Matthews' first year, Marner's first year, basically Nylander's first year. He put up four points in six playoff games. 2017-2018, followed that 61-point season up with another 61 points. This time, 20 goals and 41 assists. Um, in the playoffs, four points in seven games. Again, losing to the Boston Bruins. No one wants to talk about that. Until 2018-2019, uh, this is the, the holdout season. So, to be fair, like back-to-back 61-point -back seasons, like you think he's going to keep going, right? He's going to get better and better, guaranteed to get your 20 goals. Um, so he holds out. Toronto signs him to the big deal, and he only gets seven goals in 54 games, 27 uh, points. 
not the best. But again, when you're starting at the end of the season, what do you expect? Playoffs, he was good. He worked hard. Three points in seven games. The points don't equal how well he played in the playoffs. I felt he played really, really well. He then followed that up and hit basically mid-season form uh, when he went to the World Championship. And he ended up uh, getting 18 points in eight games. He dominated every aspect of uh, that tournament. Insane. Five goals, 13 assists in eight games. Then 2019, 2020, obviously the COVID season, the bubble season, and he exploded. And you're like, okay, it was just 18, 19 was, he just started late. 68 games played, 31 goals, 28 assists, 59 points, four points in five playoff games. Uh, losing at Columbus in the well, buy-in games, we'll call it, not playoffs. Anyway, he played phenomenal. Nylander was great. Um, his net front presence, he's just there. Him and JT worked well together. I think if Mikheyev was on his wing most of the season, if he didn't get hurt, he probably would have had the highest points um, he's had this year. I would expect him <clears throat> in the 68 games, give him a couple more, he, he, 63 maybe. He was, uh, he was that good. And I expect him to keep getting better and better. So let's get right into his point projection or point prediction for the 2020-2021 season. So where do I see Nylander in 2020-2021? Um, we're going to go off. He plays a full 82 games, okay? Um, I think his goal totals, they increase. He, um, he hit 31 last year in 68 games. I don't think he's going to get the same goals per game, um, not to have the exact same uh, pace as last year. So I'm going to, I guess, be a little bit safe here, but at the same time, I think he's... He's going to be in that 28 to 34 goal, 35 goal range, 25 goals plus. Next year, I think he comes out blasting again. I'm going to go Nylander, 82 games, 33 goals. And with that, he's going to get more assists this year. So I think JT scores some more goals this year. So I'm going to give him 39 assists. And in 82 games, Nylander is going to put up a cool 72 points. Not bad for a guy making 6.9 million. And I think it's just gonna get better and better and better.